Hi there. I'm working on my uh, servo uh, setup, and uh, I'll show you what I've achieved until now. It's basically um, I showed you before the output of uh, of the, the the rotary encoding chip. You can see here on the on the right. Uh, uh, it says here pitch value 732, uh, pitch pitch value 421 jaw value it says those values and and basically I wrote but this is what comes out of a big XA microcontroller so basically I managed to feed the data from the magnetic rotary encoders into the big XA chip and here I can simply uh, define a position so on the right on the left here I say okay the pitch would be 450 and the jaw should be 300 and then you see that the, the device is, is moving towards that so the jaw value is 300 and the jaw target should be 300 and the pitch value is 449 and should be 450. Uh, the pitch is still a little bit of a problem because sometimes it, uh, it presents enormous outliers so like 700 or 2 or something like that and that means that uh, the device will uh, start moving towards that again. Basically uh, this is the mirror, <laughs> this is the magnetic uh, rotary encoder that I have on the on the device and it's, so it's a bit noisy that might have something to do with the wires here because they're all crossing and there's no diodes in it uh, so it's probably uh, 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 that's one of the reasons another one of the reasons of course this whole lot where you have the motor controller switching 12 volt next to a uh, microcontroller that is doing lots of serial traffic so I already discovered that you need to have lots of breaks between uh, between um, uh, sending data, but I can demo uh, basically how it works. What you do is you you go into this file, you have to shut down the terminal first. Go to this file, you say, okay, I want the pitch to be 400, which is uh, which is let's say the the um, vertical axis, and I want the jaw to be 200, which is uh, uh, right uh, to the south. Just move it a little bit. So this is still hard programmed, uh, but of course this can be programmed through a serial signal. Um, I'm going the, the, the microcaller now. Hopefully it works. Yeah, there it goes. And uh, in a moment you will see that the rig starts moving to uh, to the new position. I made it so that, uh, that if it's a long way from its position that it should have, then it's simply continuously moving. And as it approaches it, it does measure uh, while it's moving. Uh, how far it's, it, it has uh, has gotten. Uh, if it's uh, approaching the the target, then it will uh, will stop uh, and, and and take smaller steps. So this is the programming process here. What you see. So and then if we switch, so now it's basically moving continuously, which is pretty fast. We can monitor here what happens to the. So the jaw is 274, and it should be 200. Pitch is 433 and it should be 400. So you can see jaw 260. So pitch value and pitch target are the same now, so that doesn't move anymore. But the jaw is still. Uh, Still off by one. So here you see uh, that the pitch value can have kind of strange uh, variations, which are not uh, correct. Which basically have to do with noise, I guess, in the system or a bad design, which is simply the fact that it's a prototype. But uh, so that's another step. Another uh, next step would be to, uh, of course, get a serial input to the PICA, uh, microcontroller. And, uh, so that you can set the targets and uh, so this is progress we now have a servo uh, style uh, two axis um, uh, well uh, solar tracker heliostat solar concentrator and uh, well just add elements like a clock now and we have to think a little bit about what the exact angle should be nice thing of course is that these are uh, let's say degree type equivalence in terms of rotational uh, definition so you have uh, so it's, it's a circle already so you don't have to 
worry about uh, about uh, the way that uh, these things, uh, let's say, movement is related to angle, uh, movement of the motor is related to angle, because you're picking up the angle uh, on the rig itself. So that should be uh, easy. But, uh, well, we'll just uh, see how this goes. Again, thanks for listening, and I hope if you like this type of device, if you want to have one, uh, send an email, and because I'm hoping to get people together to build a number of these things, so I can develop the prototype further and have a commercial version. I guess the electronics for this would be about uh, 60 bucks or 50 bucks or something like that. Everything included. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know. You, bye bye.